Hey everyone, John Martinez here with Midwest Revenue Group. Even though I'm probably the best sales trainer in the world, I know that's saying a lot, but I honestly truly believe our program and the way we teach is uh, second to none at this point. What I wanna talk about today is what selling is and what selling isn't because there's a lot of gurus out there and I think there's a lot of confusion about what selling actually is. Let's start this way. Let's talk about what selling isn't. Selling isn't convincing anybody to do anything. Selling isn't pressuring anybody to do anything. Selling isn't even influencing other people to do anything. I'll give you an example. Let's say I had a gun and I put that gun to your head and I said, buy this thing from me. Would that be selling? No, I'd probably get someone to buy something from me, right? But is that really selling? It's not. It's bullying. It's uh, probably a felony. It's illegal. And yes, I can get a certain outcome, right? I can I can get somebody to do something, but that that by no means is selling. I think we can all agree on that. There's no wiggle room there. I don't think there's any room for misinterpretation. Holding a gun against someone's head and enforcing them to do something is not selling. By extension, it's logical to think that pressuring people into something is not selling, right? Maybe you're not holding a gun against their head, right? But maybe if you just back off a little bit and it's high pressure, that, that's also not selling. Forcing people to do stuff, just pounding into them over and over again. Buy this, buy this, buy this, do this. That's not selling either. And when people are sold to that way, they regret it. They often back out of it. They don't provide referrals. It's not a good experience because it wasn't really their choice, right? They were pressured into it. So now let's talk about what selling is is it's actually simple the way i'm going to explain what selling is is by posing a question i want you to pretend that you could mind read that you could see you could literally see into someone's head into everything they were thinking and feeling if you could see every thought everything that would motivate someone to do business with you every reason why they would do business with you and, and what it really means why would they do it why are these things important to them what are the, the feelings and the emotions associated with action or inaction and I want you to pretend that you could even see all of the things that would keep them from doing business with you everything they were scared of all of their their concerns, all of their fears, anything big or small, the relationships they have and the thoughts and influences of those relationships and what people may say to influence someone to do or to not do something. If you could see in somebody's head and you could read their mind and you knew every reason why they would and wouldn't do business with you, all the associated feelings and concerns and emotions, could you sell to everybody who is sellable? Could you say, hey, Listen, I've got this product or service. I know here's where you are, here's where you wanna be, here's all the feelings associated, here's here's what concerns you about taking action, but here's why you do wanna take action. If you could see all those things, could you not really craft a great story around, hey, I now see exactly where you are, where you wanna be, and my product or service, this is how we can help you get there. Couldn't you craft that perfect story and basically sell everybody who really needed your solution to whatever problem they, they had? And, and could you also identify every one of those individuals who just weren't a fit? Could you also see into their minds and say, you know what? I see where you are, where you're trying to get to. I know what's gonna hold you back from doing a deal with me. I know what's gonna, what, what your, your motivation is and why you would take action. And based on what I see and based on what I have, we're not a fit. Wouldn't you also know that? I think the answer is yes. So far on this video, here's where we're at. Well, number one, pushing someone into something, convincing someone to do something is not selling. Number two, if you could read someone's mind, couldn't you identify everyone who is a perfect fit for you and get them to decide to buy your product or service voluntarily? And the answer is yes, you could. The, the net of this whole video is this. Selling is not forcing. Selling is the ability to have that open and honest conversation, which equates to being able to mind read. If you can set the stage for just blatantly open and honest conversation, communication, as if you could read someone's mind, if you could ask the right questions and get a 100% honest response to where are you? Where do you want to be? Is that compelling enough for you to take action and change whatever you're doing today? no matter what the cost. What are the concerns? What's gonna hold you back? Even if you're super motivated to make some type of change, what might keep you from making the change? If you could have that conversation, isn't that basically the same thing as reading somebody's mind? And the answer is yes. So here's the story I wanna convey with this video. Selling isn't pressuring, convincing, manipulating, pushing. 
Selling is merely having an open, honest conversation about the problem your prospects have and whether or not that problem is compelling enough for them to take action and laying everything out on the table that could keep them from taking that action and then comparing those two things. What's greater to you? Your motivation to take action or those things that are gonna keep you from taking action? That's it. And it's framing the whole conversation around that one simple question. The more you pressure, the less likely you are to have that conversation. The more you sell, the less likely you are to get to, to the truth. Because we all know we protect ourselves from salespeople. Nobody wants to be pressured. No one wants to be cheated. No one wants to get the short end of the stick. This is probably a really weird video because as I, I look at the camera here, like I look just as pale as a ghost, right? It looks like, so this is like the message from the ghost of John Martinez. But here's the deal. That's what selling is and that's what selling isn't. And if anyone tells you differently, they're flat out wrong. If someone tries to tell you this is how you close somebody, this is how you pressure someone, this is how you turn the screws on them, they don't know anything about selling. If, if someone writes a book that these are the 10 greatest closes in history, they don't know anything about selling. What they know about is pressuring, and pressuring does the opposite. Pressuring actually leads to less deals. So if you've got those books, throw them away. If, you, if you're taking those courses, ditch them, okay? Because they're not gonna do you any good. So I'll get off my soapbox here. I know a lot of people who watch this video are not gonna agree with me and I get it. But the truth of the matter is, if you really wanna know about selling, read the work of Dr. Antonio Damasio. He's, he's really the father of neuroscience and, and then neuroeconomics, how people make decisions. Look at basic economy, look at biology, how the brain is wired to make decisions. Look at neuroscience. Where in the brain are the synapses firing and what leads people to actually make decisions or stop? Look at the studies of, of everyone that's looked into decision making in sales and what actually, what kind of types of conversations lead to sales. And beyond any shadow of a doubt, what you're gonna be left with is this. Selling's about open, honest communication. That's it. And the way you carry yourself and the questions you ask, that's what, what leads to open, honest communication. So I'm gonna encourage anyone who is uncomfortable with that pushy, old school, 50 year old, 100 year old, nasty way of selling, I'm gonna encourage you to stop and do it a different way. I'm gonna give you the good news that it doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to be pushy. If this resonates with you, please share this with anyone else who just wants better sales results, whether it's a business owner or a salesperson or or, or someone that you know has a business that they believe in and they just they they want more business, they want to spread their message. Please share this with them.